Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or hello and welcome if you are new. So today's video is a week in my life vlog where I take you through each day and show you what I tick off on each of my to-do lists. So it's what I call a to-do list week in my life. I know you guys really enjoy these so definitely like it if you do and we'll dive straight into Monday. So this is my billet journal, if you are not already familiar. It is where I make all of my weekly plans and it has every single to-do list for every day. So on Monday, I like to review what I didn't manage to complete in the previous week. So I'll usually color those things in yellow and transfer them over. And at the start of this video, I will say that there are some useful links down in the description box below. So videos on my channel where I explain how my planning system works. And I also have a downloadable template. But my Monday morning anyway, after my run and making my breakfast, I was just at my desk organizing files on my Mac because honestly it gets full so quickly. I then added a voiceover to a video and was just finishing some editing that I wanted to get done. I'm out on just a run down to the gym. It is like 3.30 and it's getting, well it's gonna start getting dark so I was like may as well run speed it up a bit. Biggest lol of today, I set off on my run and I have a back pocket in these shorts where I put my keys. There were people walking behind me, bear in mind. I basically put my keys down my shorts. So they start falling down my shorts instead of the pocket. Like, I had to stop and fish them out. I fished them out. Yeah, I felt kind of humiliated just because someone probably saw all that. But anyway, my gym session on the other hand was not so embarrassing, we could say. I was just gonna say, well, I was going to show you, actually, the state of my room. Well, my bed, actually. We have a little bit of a clothes shop going on just because I, last week, was like, I need to start putting some stuff on Depop. I had planned to, like, start doing this tomorrow, but just before I went to the gym and I was waiting for, like, some food to digest, I was like, what can I do? And I didn't want to sit back at my desk, so I was like, let's just start getting some clothes out. Um, and, yeah, that's why my bed looks like this and i haven't dealt with it since i just need to like um finish planning my day tomorrow just so i know what i'm kind of doing i need to prep for tutoring which i was gonna do today but i'm just gonna do it tomorrow now <gasps> oh my god i just smudged the ink on my page why is this smudged oh my god so this is what my final to-do list on monday looks like and if you've watched these videos before on my channel then you'll know that i do show you again what each to-do list looks like at the very end of the week just because obviously i don't manage to finish everything on each day and i usually try and transfer things over but yeah that's just a heads up and this is a small little pickle appreciation moment because i'm honestly such an addict but yeah basically that evening i just had my dinner and i was finishing up doing some emails It's basically almost Christmas at this point, which is kind of scary sometimes how fast time flies. But yeah, Tuesday morning, I went out on quite a long run, actually. Welcome to Mud City. I'm not sure how bad it's going to get through there, but we'll just keep going and see. My legs honestly feel like lead. Bad decision to put this run after an evening session at the gym and running there and back, you know. Bad decision, Holly. Oh, echo. I brought gel with me. I don't think it's gonna do much to be honest with you, but I'm gonna have it. And I'm gonna switch to a podcast because I've been listening to music the whole time so far, which I sometimes do, because I start off with music and forget to swap it. So halfway, switch it up. I do have a big hill to do, which I'm not looking forward to, but I'll update you guys in a bit. Bit of an obstacle course right now. We've just hit like 12K. Um, I haven't actually had this yet. Oh my God, do you hear the echo? Yes, right. Oh my god. What is this? Ah! I'm literally screaming, you guys, because I keep almost slipping. Oh my god. Ah! The gel was... It was okay. Now um, we're on the mudslide. Um, we have like 15 minutes left until we reach one and a half hours. I should really walk, but we'll get through it. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god, my entrance to the next field. Yes, I can escape. Right, I think I'll see you at home when I'm done. Oh my god, we made it back. Um, it rained a couple of times, um, but yeah, it wasn't too heavy. I didn't have two watches on today because my Fitbit is not charged. Anyway, it was 
0.12 kilometers. I actually thought I was running a lot slower than what my watch has said. Like it was five minutes, 11 seconds per kilometer, which is not that bad. We can take it off the to-do list. I do write my runs down and my workouts down just because I love the feeling of taking it off afterwards. This is like a mixture of sweat and rain. So this top is like damp, um, but I need to stretch out now. And I soaked oats before so I can make porridge or something. Now I don't know about anyone else but I have always made my oats in the microwave on like a regular basis. I have made it on the stove and in other ways but it's just so quick and convenient to do it in the microwave and I honestly love making my oats really quite simple but I'll just add loads of toppings and fruit and obviously it is persimmon season right now so I am so happy about that. But yeah here is then my to-do list for the day. At this point, Milka clearly loves you more than she does me. But anyway, I was just doing some emails at my desk for Holy Gemia, my online tutoring business, and those in my main inbox. Whoa, we look crazy. I was gonna sort out my hair and then talk to you guys. But right now, we just have a frizzy mess. The screen is just like making my face look really orange. It's raining, it's so gloomy, and yeah. If you didn't know, I've mentioned this in my previous videos, but I'm looking to take on someone, well, hire someone to work with me um, and help me edit my videos. So yeah, I'm posting that today. It will go in the vlog that goes live at five, and then I've got an Instagram post. The page on my website is going live at the same time. Well, it's actually also live, but it's just ready. I don't know if this video will be out after the deadline next week on Monday, to the 14th but if it is and i think it will be obviously a huge thank you to any of you guys who did apply and yeah, i will be currently reading through my applications at that time but anyway um that is kind of the update i was doing some holly gmail work then i've just finished that i uploaded the video checked it made the thumbnail which i'll show you i actually really love making thumbnails um i use a combination of canva and pic monkey to make them but the plan for now anyway is to go downstairs i'm gonna make myself like a tea or a hot drink or something get a snack and then prep for tutoring go on a walk hopefully by then it stopped raining and it's not completely pitch black then have lunch oh my god i'm orange then do some editing or Depop stuff actually. Anyway, um, hot drink time. Downstairs in a snack. So I found these toast and jam flavored teas in the cupboard recently. So I've just been having those and I also made myself a bowl of Weetabix alongside. There's a rainbow. Oh my God, you guys, there's a rainbow. There's a rainbow. It's very faint, but there is a rainbow, I promise you. Yeah, it was super faint, but a rainbow is always a rainbow nonetheless, right? And yeah, before my evening tutoring sessions, I went out on a walk, had my lunch, finished my prep work for the sessions, and then I had two different sessions with two students so i finished at 9 15 and we are then just jumping to wednesday evening because i spent most of that day tutoring i haven't really spoken to you guys today because i have literally done nothing really more than tutoring like i did a 9k run this morning and then i had a four hour tutoring session from 11 till 3 and then a four hour session from 5 30 to 9 30. when i finish these long days i am just very brain dead and my bum like my glutes my bum cheeks the soreness is on a whole new level and today i really struggled with my voice like i was talking a lot in both sessions so it was kind of just like painful and yeah i have a laser tomorrow so i need to go into london i have two laser appointments a laser hair removal and a laser eye appointment my laser hair removal one though is my penultimate session so that's quite exciting i did write down today to shave for laser in preparation for tomorrow but technically technically well i do i do have time to do it tomorrow morning i just didn't feel like turning myself into a dolphin this evening and yeah i do have a couple more things i can do just while i'm eating dinner yeah, i'm kind of brain dead though right now i don't think that email writing will go too successfully i tried my best to write some emails but you know i made sure that i wasn't in bed super late like not beyond midnight preferably i then planned my day for thursday because i was going into london basically for the whole day I'm in London, as you can tell. Well, you maybe can't tell, but I am in London basically. Bit of a nightmare this morning. Um, I woke up at 8.33 and I was like, it's abnormally bright in my room. Like, what is going on? I forgot to set my alarm. So yeah, I woke up at 8.33. Like, I just woke up naturally, which is 
like quite good because I could have slept until I don't know 10 and that would have really screwed me over because I was leaving to get a train at like 10 30. So we were an hour and a half delayed this morning but I like managed to do all my shaving for later. I did some emails actually, had my breakfast, um, had a shower, did my hair. Full force, go, go, go the whole morning. That's why I haven't really spoken to you guys. But yeah, I managed to catch an earlier train, which is great. And I'm here and I'm just walking to my first appointment, which is a laser hair removal, as you guys know, um, at 12.40. Oh my God, can I cross this road without getting run over? Yes. But yeah, the tube strikes hopefully won't screw me over that much today. If I get here early enough and leave about like 45 minutes to an hour, I can walk to my um, laser appointment. It's like on Tottenham Court Road near Oxford Street. So that's where I'm walking right now. I do this walk all the time. Tell you one thing, Buckingham Palace is not so hot today. It stinks of poo around here. Might be the building work. Not really too sure. So my first appointment, as I said, was a laser hair removal and we are getting so close to the end of my eight sessions and after that I will do a big review of my whole experience because I think that would be really useful if you are thinking about getting it done. But the one thing I can say right now is that I always leave with marks all over my face because you have to wear the goggles and my face indents really easily and it like stays like that for a while. Um, yeah, the struggles. But anyway, I then had a second laser appointment, my eye one, because I've recently had laser eye surgery this was my two month post surgery checkup and if you're interested as well i can do a little summary video on this so just let me know down below or like this video where you can see the vertical lines top or bottom in each pair um starting with one yeah mm -hmm. uh top bottom Top, top, bottom. So this is my optometrist who is so, so nice. And I was just having my eye test done to check my vision. And as she said, she was just so, so happy with the results. So that's looking absolutely perfect. Your contrast vision should always recover back to how it was prior to surgery. Oh, yes. uh, your vision is amazing. Uh, you're sitting exactly as you should be. So a little bit long sighted as planned. So perfect. So you're pleased you had it done then. Oh, 100%. It was just so fun. Like, yeah. even when people were like, are you nervous? I was like, not really. <laughs> I was just more excited for it. <laughs> So if you are interested in watching a video where I show you my full London work routine, even though this day wasn't really quite that because I just had some appointments and I was meeting a friend later in that day, I will link that video on the screen for you guys right now and down in the description box because I often go into London these days to work and work away from my desk at home. I've literally just arrived at where I'm meeting Michaela. I'm so excited to see her and I actually get to see her new like home. Um, so she lives with her boyfriend. I'm going to see her and... Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I was literally vlogging. Hey, bye! Honestly, this is so so crazy because I remember I saw Michaela earlier this year and we were talking about her moving out and she is now in her flat so I got to see that this day and I believe that was in a video from earlier this year so it's just so crazy. Show the vlog what you got, yeah? Come on. He's literally just gonna go in there. Come on. Oh, oh yeah, it's for other foster kids. Oh yeah! Oh, oh you, you got, got it! it. <laughs> Look at his own face! I think you'd be a very sexy boyfriend to somebody called Milka, yeah? Come to your mama. <laughs> Come to your mama. Come to my papa. So cute! Can you give him an official intro? This is Badger. Yeah? <laughs> Milka, pay attention, yeah? This, this is, is your boyfriend. future boyfriend. Yeah. I've had him since he was two days old. And now he's seven months old and he's. He's alive, believe me. <laughs> he's been <laughs> hand reared. Taylor hand has hand reared him. Say hi to the vlog. Oh, there we go. He's alive now. So yeah, if anyone does want to foster this little man, Badger, he's yours. Right? Yeah. Right. This message. What did I have my meal deal? I had a wrap. He had a, a red wrap. It was a beetroot wrap. It was very good. Um, We had a innocent smoothie. She didn't go for the berry one though. Oh yeah, because I would have had a red wrap and a red drink. So I wanted some differences in colors. But then, you know. And then I had a Serene because I haven't red. had Serene in ages. But yeah, if you get a meal deal, they're great value, but you get the most expensive items. Yeah. Am I right? Am yeah. I right? Let's get Badger. But yeah, let's get Badger. Badger has Badger. been the star of the show today. Badger. Star of the vlog. Look, no, sitting like a human. <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for, huh? This is like a, a rhythmic gymnastics. I know, when I first got it, I was like playing around like I was <laughs> a gymnast. But come on, I want to just stand. Yeah! <laughs> We're actually matching as well with black and white. Oh yeah! Black and white friends. The whirlwind, what are you gonna do? I need to get one of these for Milka. This is 
As I said before, Michaela and her boyfriend, they're fostering Badger and he needs a home. So yeah, if you are interested, you can definitely message me like on Instagram or send me an email or comment down below even. But yeah, on the train ride home, I was just starting to do my prep work for tutoring. To be honest with you, I was really tired, but I did try and get a bit done on the train. Happy Friday. It is Friday today. As you can see, I'm going on a run. I'm taking this jacket off. I don't run in this. I was honestly so tired yesterday. Like I was on the train and I was doing some tutoring prep and I was getting like a really bad headache just like looking at screens. But yeah, I feel okay this morning. I was hoping to do some editing today, but I just don't know when I'm going to fit it in because I need to do some work after my first tutoring session. There's just always so much to do and not enough time. I've numbered things on my to-do list and the reason why I do that is because I normally write a to-do list and it's just a random list of things um, and so I put them in order so I know what I'm doing first and second and third and that helps me prioritize things basically and organize my day. Um, anyway, I need to stop talking, get out on this run and yeah. <clears throat> Hello. So my first tutoring session was two hours, so from 11 to 1, and then after that I went downstairs, I made myself a hot drink because it is winter season and I am honestly loving hot drinks like matcha teas or like hot chocolate, hot cacao, it's just so good. And then I did some emails, I was uploading some videos, so I am on YouTube Shorts now actually, which is really fun, and yeah, after that I had to then plan some content, so this is usually if I work with brands, I plan everything in a lot of detail so I know exactly what I'm doing and then this was kind of like a double run day because I ran down to the gym to do a strength work session. I just finished at the gym I am gonna run back now but oh my god I just put my arms into this pink jacket which I ran down here in. It's literally wet in there because of my sweat. I don't normally run in this as I said this morning but then I just don't go and take my own advice. Honestly I am never doing that again. It was honestly disgusting when I put my arms in that jacket but yeah I kind of ran back just before it got dark I then unpacked some deliveries and made myself some food before getting back to work. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday. I have been on a run this morning. I am doing some filming today. That's why I look a bit more put together. Um, but basically, I had some packages yesterday. One of them, I didn't show you guys, was this. Literally one of my favorite deliveries ever. Um, you guys probably recognize this by now as well. The packaging is actually iconic and donut time. They messaged me on Instagram. They were like, Holly, are you available for a donut delivery? And I was like, yes, as long as it's before like next Wednesday when I go away. There's hardly any food in the house right now and I'm going to be making breakfast, but I don't really know what to make because we don't have much. So I think I'm just going to start off with a donut and then make official breakfast or second breakfast afterwards. Um, oh my God. It's dreamy oops i do not want to drop these yeah donut time i honestly love you so much the big reveal oh my god can you see no don't close the lid oh my god we have two lotus two of the um cookie dough ones and these oh my god like strawberry jam that looks new to me oh my god who puts a bottle right there who decides to open donuts right here right world vegan month yes to celebrate, here's our vegan indulgence six pack food to try. We hope you love them. I always love them. And um, yeah, love the donut time team. I've had these two both before, I think, um, but this one I haven't had. As you can see, it is a jammy dodger looking donut, which looks so cool. What a shame no one's had to open them with me, right? <laughs> Em and dad can try the donuts when they're like back home, but it's just myself, Matthew and mum are home like today. So I just cut them up into thirds and yeah, oh my God, I've tried the jammy dodger one. Oh my God, that is like a jammy donut, like a jam donut, but on a whole new level. Oops, they're flying everywhere. Like look, look at that center of the donut. Oh my God. When I tell you that's a beautiful donut, that is something from heaven. Mm. The icing that gets me, it's so good. Mmm, the dough as well. So fresh. Mmm, what a way to start the day. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let me try the Biscoff one again. Oh my god, look at that center, like that chunk of Biscoff. Mmm. One day we'll have a donut party together. Wherever I am in the world, my next time when I meet you guys, 
we're gonna have donuts that would honestly be so much fun and i feel like i should maybe do something like that before next year because i have been dropping hints something quite big is happening big changes in my life but i could maybe do a little meet up in london or something i don't know but yeah i finally managed to put all of the items on depop so my depop is at h gabrielle you can check it out if you are interested i use depop so much myself and i just wanted to put some items on there and yeah i then made myself a second kind of breakfast so a little yogurt bowl with some oat yogurt protein powder blueberries quinoa puffs and flaxseed i believe i added it was very good and we're jumping to the evening i was just posting on my instagram stories prepping for tutoring planning some videos and then just editing I'm so cold right now, that is why I have my dressing gown on. I've just finished tutoring, but I wanted to finish this video because it is Sunday. I haven't spoken to you guys today, but as I said, I've just been tutoring pretty much the whole day. And when I haven't been at my desk working, I've been on a run, I went on a walk, been making some TikToks because I wanted to do anything other than sit at my desk. I'm so behind on editing like my vlogs and videos, which makes me really sad because I just love putting content out for you guys, um, but I've just been so busy with Holly Jumia and tutoring, which is really good, obviously, but yeah, I just really want to do some editing, but I haven't had the time to like sit down and do that today at all. I want to edit a Mantra Monday post, which is something I do on Instagram, but I think I'm just going to do it tomorrow and post it tomorrow evening. But oh my god, I go away in two days and I am not prepared at all, so I do need to like get up and be super on it tomorrow and tuesday but i just found two random questions to answer for you guys at the end of the video which i do in most of my weekly vlogs i actually looked at them now the first one is like have i updated to ios 16 on my phone um i don't have my phone right now it's downstairs but the answer is no like i really should do that i just wasn't convinced even by like the home screen um but yeah i feel like i just need to like do it now and yeah the second question was the deodorant that i mentioned in my london routine video i think which deodorant did i mention it was the nude one it's not really like a deodorant deodorant that was actually quite a smooth roll of my bed just in case you missed that i use this it's uh by nude it's like vegan friendly it's as i said in that video probably the best thing i have used but yeah that is everything from me i'll show you guys all of my completed or not to-do lists from the whole week so monday through today so sunday and yeah i'm just looking at the bed my bed and it's so messy from when milk has been sleeping and cleaning herself but yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video as usual definitely give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it comment down below subscribe if you are new and you want to stick around and as always i'll speak to you very soon in another video bye i see it i like it i want it i got it i'm so good I'm so good, that doesn't even make sense really. Oh, he wants my, um, wrap. He loves the camera! Tarokitama! Darling, the screen is black now. <laughs> I don't know why I walked over to my desk and now I'm back over at the bed. <laughs> oh my god. The bottle, for God's sake. Like, is that my fault? Yeah. What's up there? <laughs> the stick part. <laughs> what? He wants oh, the stick. Okay. What? Do you want the stick? <laughs> Wait, wait, what does he want? He wants the stick. Man, you can pick if you want jammy dodger or this stick. More plates, more pass. Yeah, you get a third. We just look like such a state right now. I've come in the taste testing route. Work with me. Maybe not. I'm freaking love you donut time. I don't know about you. I just, I just can't speak. I'm not even going to try. Come on, focus camera. Struggling. I'm here, hun. Thanks. You can show me you can come down, come down. Okay, stop. <laughs>